Are you ready to finish your Mandalorian armor? Join me as you see how I finish mine after it was 3D printed. See you inside. Hello and welcome to today's video. Today, like I said, this is part two of the Mandalorian armor that you saw that I printed in video one. If you didn't see that one, go on back and check out that video of me actually printing the pieces and the time lapses of that being printed. I only did the helmet, the chest, and the arms. I did not do any of the waist and leg armor, um, mainly this time. But we're going through, and today you're going to see how I clean it up by sanding. You're going to see the priming process, the painting process, and then just finishing up with elastic and Velcro, um, putting in the visor into the helmet and different things like that. So let's get to that. I hope you guys enjoy. And if you do like this video, please remember, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, join the team here. If you've got something or a question about 3D printing or anything like that, leave a comment down below. I will definitely try to help you out. Hope you guys enjoy. Hey guys, so like I said, we're going to start cleaning up the Mandalorian armor. The first thing that we need to do is we need to sand it. And that's what we're about to do right now. Right now, I've got my belt sander loaded up with a P220 sandpaper. Really fine, really nice sandpaper. We're going to get the parts here sanded and smooth on the edges especially, so that it doesn't want to rip me up. So let's get to sanding and get these guys cleaned up and get them closer to getting ready for primer and paint. But one thing to remember while you're doing this, Make sure you're wearing safety goggles. It is sand, you are sanding plastic, so make sure you're taking safety precautions. I'm in an enclosed garage, so I'm gonna put ear protection in. And I am sanding plastic, so I am going to put on a face mask. Um, yes, it's 3D printed. Um, to make sure I'm not breathing in something I don't wanna breathe in. So, let's get to sanding. We'll see you guys when we get ready to go for the final bit of sanding and primary. All right, guys, so we've done our first real sanding job to it, gotten some of this bad spar part sanded off with the sander. I did do some hand sanding afterwards, so just some P220 and some P80 on some spots. Try to sand this down a little bit more. Now it's time to move to the fun part. We're gonna get primer on it. Now, this is a primer, this is a 2 1 filler, filler and sandable primer. So it adds in kind of a filler into the material as well to help kind of make things easier. So I'm going to get to spraying this. We'll see you guys when it's done. As you can see behind me, there's our tray of parts. Although I forgot to put the ear parts in there. I got to add them to one of the box. I'll probably put it in with the vent braces for the helmet. But we're going to get this initial parts all, sand, all sprayed up. Now, disclaimer, when you're doing any spray painting or anything, you can see I'm in a garage, but it's well ventilated, and I'm still gonna wear a mask and probably put my safety glasses on just for my own protection.
Hey guys, so we got the primer done on the pieces. We're gonna start going through with the Rust-Oleum and start making the silver. I've already done it to these few pieces, but we've got all those to work on. As you can see, the primer went on really nice, made them look all really good. But we're gonna start adding this wonderful Rust-Oleum product and start making our stuff look more like Mandalorian armor. I'll catch up with you once we've got it primed. Hey guys, so we've been spray painting, getting the Mandalorian armor the right color. As you can see, we've got a lot of silver. Again, I've just been using the metallic finish by Rust-Oleum. And what I'll do is I'll finish this up. Some of this I might take a wash on, I don't know yet. I haven't tried to decide it after I put some of it together how it's gonna look. But just to kind of show you, these few pieces here have not been painted yet. I, I only primed them white, so. We're gonna rattle can this one up. And as you guys can see, this paint is really nice for the metallic color. And it goes on really nicely. And I'm going on kind of a heavy coat to kind of help get rid of those lines that you see. But also get these hand pollen covers uh, that we have in here as well. Now again, your spray painting, Make sure you're in a very well ventilated space doing this. And this piece, I'm not too worried about run lines. So I just want gaps filled in more than I want anything. This can run off into the box all at once. There we go. That makes me happy. All right. We'll do some more painting on that. I'm gonna get some more coats on the rest of the Mandalorian armor pieces. Um, these each already have two coats. I got to do some flipping and stuff like that to get some of the seams. So we're going to get to that here. I hope you guys enjoy. And then we're going to get next, we'll be getting some elastic and Velcro on these pieces so I can wear them. Then we got to cut the visor to uh, fit the helmet. And I think we'll be ready to rock and roll. Now we are, as I record this right now, we are three whole days away before Halloween. Kind of hoping to have this done. Don't really expect it, but we will try to. Because if you watch today's video that came out of the Baby Yoda candy dish that we're going to put out there, he's going to be out there holding the candy for the kids that do come up to the house. I plan on being behind the uh, glass front door um, in the armor. So that way I'm protecting myself, protecting them too. So, But they still get the fun of trick-or-treating in this very odd time. So I'm going to get these painted. All right, so now we've got everybody all painted up. We've got it all chrome looking, looking great. But now we gotta cut the piece to go in here to do the visor. Now, like I said, I got mine just as a Amazon um, purchase. This was all actually one piece that went on this headband. It was just a face, face mask with bolted in. But we need to cut this guy to really fit well in here. I don't know if this is gonna cut really well, we may just not do this, but right now it's got a protective film on it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it in here, I'm gonna get it pushed up, I'm gonna take and try to make some marks to where I'm going to cut this. Now we've got some gluing to do, we gotta put some elastic on some of these pieces so I can put it on my chest. And then I think we're just about ready to go. So I'm gonna get to cut, getting this ready. So that needs to dry. Now we've got to deal with these. So it came out really well, but I have a problem. 
my hand doesn't fit. So I'm going to have to take and cut a line with each one to be able to slide these over my arms. So that's just a minor thing. I'll probably do that off camera, but just saying, if you do make this for yourself, you might want to scale these up to 1.5. That's on there. All right, guys, let's work on the gloves real quick. So these are just a pair of workman's gloves I bought at uh, a local Menards. And we've got the hand plate that we see him have. Well, I'm just going to take and simply hot glue it on. that on there and I'll do that to the other glove as well and for a quick simple here we go there you go we got the gloves we'll get this one done I'm building up pretty big gloves because I'm working on fabric Do it pretty quick so it doesn't dry on you or cool off on you too quick because you want it to adhere but there's your gloves so one step down so I had a change on the plate so and I went upstairs and I found I had these old click belts to use so what I'm gonna do is I am going to take and hot glue this guy onto the plate and then just use it to strap around my body. So let's get a good bead on here and let's get him glued on. Just like, and just like that, we're ready to build that onto my body. So. There we go. Do the same on this piece that's going to go basically underneath. There's the other piece. Now we need to figure out how to secure the pauldrons. I'm just gonna use elastic for that. That way I can slip my arm in there and Get it up on my shoulder. All right, let's get the other one done. All right, now that pauldron's ready to slip on and stay on my arm. All right, so really the only piece that we have left the abdomen arm and I'm gonna go the same route I'll 
unfortunately this piece isn't big enough, but I'm going to go with this thinner piece of elastic. And just pull it around my chest, figure out how long I need, to make sure I have a tight fit. Cut that one down. Get him hot glued. Hey guys, okay, so here's the final fitting of the armor on. Meg is being wonderful and helping me get this armor on. If you guys like what you saw today, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Leave a comment, let us know that you enjoyed what we put out here today. You know, I'll take any painting tips or anything you got for me, because yeah, this is really the first cosplay I've ever done. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you guys get something out of it. Maybe for next year, you can print your own armor for Halloween. Thank you guys, and see you in the next episode.